Hello, I'm Org, and in this replay, um, this video, I'm going to show you two replays in my UE57, the Tier 3 French tank destroyer. And, well, I'll also start off by saying that this is actually the first tank destroyer I've played that I haven't absolutely loved. And that's because, well, this tank, it has a few quite significant drawbacks. But, well, they'll become apparent over the course of these replays. But anyway, we have here... It's a small game, as in the uh, Aether side, and it is on Erlenberg. And I see my team, well, basically seems to be going straight up the centre. So I figure I'll move along this ridge line to act as my fire support, flanking anyone that comes up, and just be able to watch the flank to see if the enemy come around this way. I'm always a bit reluctant to do this because well, the UF-57 has very poor gun depression. And we see a Chi Hei. And it doesn't seem to realise that we're shooting it from up here. Which is perfectly fine by me. And we don't get the kill bots. Just like that, we've actually done almost twice our hit points in damage. So already I'm actually pretty happy with this game. I thought about poking over to get that um, Covenanter. But like I said, this doesn't have great gun depression, so I'd be very exposed when I poke over. But instead the Covenanter decides to just charge out into the open. Which is fine by me. Tactics absorb that shot. That shot missed because I I don't have a gun for this, I had to remove my hull. And enemy B1 shoots me in the gun. So I pull back and repair my gun. I think about shooting the Covenanter, but our artillery kills it. And the other side, well, it looks like the B1's probably shooting at those other two tanks up there. So once I get the gun depression, I should be able to just shoot back without any problems. Get one shot in, two shots and one bounce, which is pretty good considering that's supposed to be a heavy tank. I mean a heavy tank a tier above me. But this gun's good like that. And we see an M2 medium and again it's over a ridge line from me. And it's probably also spotted me. It's got a derp gun and I've got no armour. I'll take a quick shot but it seems to be pointing in my direction, I'm not going to take my chances there. Well, it goes off now, um, off the minimap. I see our friendly Panzer 3A is coming over to help. And I figure I'm just going to move up to somewhere where hopefully it's not expecting me. And then when the Panzer 3A pops over the ridge, I can hopefully get some shots into it. But the Panzer 3A is not coming quickly enough, so I poke over myself, pull back. And it didn't seem to spot me, and I definitely didn't spot it. So I figure it's probably running back to its base, and it's about to bump into the DW2, who's kind of heading in this direction by the round from the rear. Well, there he is, you can see him. I'm expecting it to be about any minute now. No, I don't know where it could be. And well, that's when we see a Panzer 3A right back in our base. Which is kind of should have been expecting since we still haven't spotted half the enemy team and half the map's open. So that shot, while well, I rushed it, it didn't quite go where I'd hoped. The UE 57 is also back there, but I don't have shots on it. And while well, the M2 medium's also back there, it went the opposite direction to what I thought. I managed to get a long range shot into the Panzer 3 over here, 530 meters. And that one hit the tracks. That one, well, I am a bit far ahead and a bit high, I think. That last shot didn't quite get the kill. But, uh, well, the enemy's beating us 5 to 3. But we know all three of their tanks that aren't artillery are basically in our flag. Which gives us a decent advantage. Well, maybe not an advantage, but it gives us an edge, I suppose. 
Panzer 3A goes rushing in and spots the enemy Panzer 3A. And I have the tiniest of shots, but it moves before I can get the shot. And that M2 medium ducks out before I can shoot it. And I see the Panzer 3A and it's capping, so take the shot at it and get the decap, or get the kill and take its capture points. So now there are two of us and two enemy tanks in our base and two enemy artillery somewhere else. The M2 medium's charging up at our DW2, and at this range I'm not willing to poke over the ridge you know, in its face. I would die very quickly if not to the M2 medium, then to the UE57, which I'm sure is sitting behind it somewhere. Now that it's dead, I can pull up in these bushes and see if I can't spot my opposite number. I mean, I really don't have the gun pressure to actually shoot it from here. Perhaps from here I will, if I spot it. Which I'm not. The binoculars are up. So if I can see it, I should have seen it by now. But perhaps when it shoots, I'll be able to spot it. Well, there it is, the DW2 spotted it, and I don't have shots, the building's in the way. So I'm rushing down to support my DW2 friend. But it looks like it's got this covered. So now it is artillery hunting. Now the great thing about this is that me and the DW2 we move at the same speed, more or less. So we should be able to stick fairly close together and support each other. I know this is a bit of a laugh. I was um I didn't want the enemy artillery to have any sign of where I am. So I go through the gate, slow down to avoid knocking over the tree and then drive straight down the middle of this path because I don't want to knock over any of these fences. All of which was probably pointless because artillery probably wasn't looking at that part of the map at that particular time. But you never know. Um, it makes the game a little bit more interesting if you can't knock over obstacles. But I'm thinking artillery... There's a good chance it's up in the A0 area. But... Well, our friendly M37 reckons it's in the opposite corner, around A2 or B2. But I figure since I'm already mostly here, I might as well swing through the forest in this corner, just to see what's happening. I mean, the DW2 seems to screen us, heading towards the enemy flag. Which means it's perfectly valid, it's just... I'd rather be stuck together. And I really don't want to have to drive back if the enemy are in this forest. But of course the enemy SU-26 isn't, it is sitting right by their flag and the DW-2 has spotted it. And well I thought the DW-2 would have been able to kill it, but not quite. So now I'm coming over to help since there's obviously no artillery in this corner. that SU-26 gone? Oh, there it is, running down towards the centre. The DW-2 gets the kill. Although it looked like it took a big hit from the artillery then itself. So, just one more to go. And I reckon it's either over in the back corner, around, well, B1, B2, A3 kind of thing or it's relocated around towards the castle at G2. So, well, that's where I'm heading. And again, the DW2 has a different idea, and it's heading straight down the middle of the map. At the time, I didn't know why it would go that way, but I reckon it must have thought that the EC-26 was running towards help. So the other artillery would be around there somewhere. Which I suppose makes sense, it just didn't occur to me at the time. Artillery doesn't usually seem to cooperate that way. But well, the enemy artillery is not right here. So I think it probably must be over by that castle. That castle there. Because it might be behind this ridge, and I might 
just miss it. So I should, might as well check since I'm here. But no, it's obviously not there. So it must be over by the castle. And holy shit, there's artillery right there. Oh, oh. Get over my shock and start putting shots in and uh, this guy's not going to live long. That had some mean camo on it, that artillery. But see, that was my ace mastery badge because I basically shot everything. 800 damage in the end. You know, top of my team, but that's kind of what you get when you shoot everything like I did that game. Anyway, this is another small game. I didn't actually realise that. Apparently I do well in UE57s when they're in small games. So I was originally going to head north on Karelia. But I see the rest of my team's heading south. And, well, I prefer to stick with them than go by myself. Of course the M3 Lee on our team seems to disagree. And is heading north all on its lonesome. Which, um, just spoilers, it's not going to end well for that guy. Going off by yourself isn't actually that great an idea. But yeah, we're heading off in force along the south. And just when I'm thinking there's not going to be anyone here, we bump into well, an M8A1 and a T2 light tank. And there's a DW2. Stop, I aim, I missed the DW2, but now I see an SU-85B, which is in the open, and it's a very good target to knock out. Managed to track it, and well there's the kill. Back at M8A1. The DW2's armor manages to protect the air, but my sword shot goes straight through the turret. As does my shot, and it pulls back. Move up to get shots on the DW2. But right about now, I look at my mini map and I see that the M3 Lee's actually dead. So I turn around because I figure we're going to need to have some, well, a rear guard essentially. And the DW2 can wait. Of course, the M37 seems to be pretty oblivious what's probably coming its way. Oh, I suppose it really isn't many where it could go other than the front lines here. I thought I might get up here and get a sneaky shot at DW2, but, well, the M3... What's it be called? M3 Light? It was the M3 Stuart. Anyway, shows up, kills our artillery. I track it. And... It's basically a bunch of free shots because it obviously doesn't know where I am. There's someone in our base. Well, it has to be the T28 because the T2 lights charging across there. And I want to get back to the base, but I want to kill this T2 light tank first. My allies do it for me, and I contributed nothing, so that was actually probably a mistake. I probably should have started going back to kill that T28 first. It was the LTP decided to take a shot at me. So it pretty much prevent me, but I'm the only one on my team getting back here. Which is a bit unfortunate since this is quite a slow tank and I've got to go uphill. Now on the plus side I've got a minute to get there. And well, thankfully the M3 on our team is coming back. in the cruiser too, but that was not that fast, but the M3 Stuart got 40 seconds, it should be able to get here to help. Although to be honest, I've got, well, 35 seconds now, I can see the flag, I'm going to make it in time. I've only got to get one shot into the T28, if, if I come at it from this direction, our cap circle's actually very open, so there's nowhere to hide, I shouldn't be able to miss, the T28's got no armour. This should all prove very straightforward. I reckon the T28's most likely hiding over by that bunker. But I don't see it. Okay, where, where is this guy? Four seconds, three, two, one. There it is, but it's capped. 
Uh, uh, okay, well, we killed it, but face captured by enemies. Bugger. But we won, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't actually sure. I had a feeling that would be a draw since the enemy team won, but we still killed them all. But no, apparently we won because we killed it. Oh, so that was lucky. 600 damage, 542 experience. So that's a pretty good game. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.